try. Absolutely, Two, 2018 and beyond is what we're all about, and uh, we're ex extremely excited about the direction we're going, who's, who's on the team, and uh, we know that we've got great support, and uh, there's so much potential in, here in, in Victorian rugby to, to succeed. I didn't enjoy coaching against him, you know. So to have him on my side for a change is going to be is going to be pretty handy. And uh, I think you know, right across that Rebels group, there's some some really exciting players, particularly particularly the younger guys. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of uh, future Wallabies in that group, you know. And that's as a coach, you know, that's 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 the real rewarding stuff. You, see. you get to take a young guy and and, and hopefully uh, help him realise some of his dreams, you know. And that's that's the stuff that I'm really excited with. And there's a number of guys, as I say, within the Rebels group, and we'll get to know them a little bit better over the next couple of weeks. If you're a player in a rugby team, you've really got to respect not only your teammates, but also the people you represent. So now that the actual community is fully behind as effectively all joint owners throughout the state of Australia, the state of Australia being Victoria, that makes a huge difference. And I think that that means more people supporting it, more volunteers, and indeed, from a generational perspective, the pathway will be secure and we'll see more and more Victorians actually playing for this team. That's the goal. And we also want to see them translate themselves into uh, effectively either Wallaroos or Wallabies, either one. And that's what it's all about. It's about the grassroots. You make sure because you can't have an elite without the grassroots. So the pathways is very important leading up to the elite. And that's why this funding goes a long way. And, and of course, it's in conjunction linking into the major events that we have. And next year, we'll be playing Ireland, of course, to kick it off. Uh, and, and then, uh, obviously, the Bledisloe Cup, uh, uh, Bledisloe game will, will happen in 2025. And, 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 and there are lots of, there are six games that we'll have, six test games uh, in the next eight years. So it's, it's fantastic for Melbourne. It's great for rugby and it's great for the government because it's, our objective is to get people fit, healthy and happy.